You are still saying Bola Tanubu stole the presidency. How, how did he steal it? Bayo Onanoga speaks. Bayo Onanoga, the special advisor to President Bola Tanubu on information and strategy, has vehemently defended the president against ongoing allegation of election fraud, suggesting that detractors have been trying to undermine the administration since its inception. Onanoga's statement came during an engaging session on mic and podcast with Shim Ukimba Luye of Channel Television, where he addressed various contentious issues facing the Tunumbu administration. In his defense of President Tunumbu, Onanoga highlighted the persistent claims by some individuals that the president had rigged his way to power to specifically pointing out accusations favoring P2B, the Labour Party candidate, who finished third in the election. Some people are still writing that Bola Tunumbu stole the presidency, or Nanaga remarked, expressing bafflement over how someone who finished third could be ordered by the same as a legitimate owner of the election. The legitimacy of President Tunumbu's victory has been a subject of intense debate with P2B and his team initially rejecting the outcome and pursuing legal challenges. However, the court ultimately upheld President Tunumbu's election, reinforcing his administration legal standing. Onaraga also touched on economic concerns, particularly focusing on the reaction to the depreciation value of the Naira. He also claimed that members of the so-called obedience movement, supporters of P2B, appear to take pleasure in the nation's economic difficulties, viewing their actions, the reactions rather, as part of a broader attempt to destabilize the current government. Now, wow. Sincerely. Nariwa. So Bayo Nanoga is still walking up and down and is still of the opinion that Tunumbu actually won the election when it was crystal clear. Crystal clear that no. He is not the one that won the election. Hmm? That we all saw what Mahmoud Yakuba actually done. Did rather. Bayo Nanoga, even children yet are born knew that no say Nigeria what his or her salt voted for a man known for criminality. Nigerians couldn't have voted for a man who has negative baggages hanging around his neck. A criminal certificate forger, a man who could graduate from government college Lagos before the school was established. Buy your non swear that you did not know that Tenable used his ill gotten word to buy an ex chairman and judici the judiciary. Not a few not a few Nigerians recognized Tenable as president, including myself. It is a shame that in a country of over 200 million Nigerians, a character like Surembu is running the affairs of Nigeria. So by another to me, oh, you're just coming out. The way you're sounding true, the way you're saying is unbelievable for somebody to believe that, you know, Surembu is the same way too. Your own is sounding to the ears. They can never answer that. The bunch of unpatriotic people seem to remember that even Buhari APC, Khan, M.A. Philly, we are all against. It was a battle of God's chosen one and the Almighty disgraced them all. Yeah, okay. The presidency should call Bayo Onanaga to order over his frequent, unprofessional, unethical, unguarded, reckless, vexatious, or trances in raising issues where there is none. The thing is, Nigerians, we are even against it. Why? Imagine you. How am I going to put it? Blood will flow if I don't rule. Okay, you have ruled. How did it end? A miracle, even before election, I will grab it and run. I have grabbed it and ran. Now everyone is very hungry. They're very hungry and in pain. Or Nanoga, the work you are doing you are to do is to help elevate the masses pain or stay quiet. How can someone who is holding power still be trying to authenticate it again if not guilt? Yes so yes so it is only when you're feeling this guilty that you come outside and you know you feel you are going to come outside and you're going to be like ah uh -uh, what's the issue? To the window very that he's not qualified if abide by the constitution of Nigeria and so he applied the fraudulent way which he specializes on to grab power even before the campaign has declared himself winner. 
You think an action is by meeting your prescribed demand? The highest number not and can never be how much people you are online, your ethnicity, sympathy otherwise, religion, it is your scores. Wow. I beg God and day and night to terminate the United's government within two years and God Almighty will remove him from government. Uh, my sister, I know deal. <laughs> God does not hear the prayers of sinners. Evils can never stand with him. Many more will be buried just because they claim to hate Tenembo, not knowing they are indirectly expressing their feeling towards God's anointing. Uh -huh. Because of their paying you a huge amount of money, that is why you are defending him. Don't worry, God really personal. All of you are thieves, if that is your problem. No one will come and dash your money. Go and walk. This one should go and do the needful instead of bringing people, bringing what people have in the past. You're already in government, so why the cry? Your government is inflicting hardship to the citizens. You people should do the needful. Buhari government must not be very far better than your government because you people are already failing the people. May 29th, this will be your government one year in office. Your government inflicted hardship, hunger to the people since the day of the government inauguration to date. You should be ashamed of your government as they are not doing the need, needful. Okay. Nana de Siamo. So coming out to say, Tunumbu, I ain't do this one, I ain't do that one. Huh. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. All right. These people just want to be heard for recognition sake. They are looking for appointment by all means. Anyway, that is the beauty of democracy. Because they are paying a huge amount of money. That is why you are defending him. Okay. It is only a fool and a criminal minded Westerner that will claim and also know that their tribesmen stole the presidency. Go and ask INEC officials the reason people know and believe so. <laughs> they said this criminal will always defend the criminal. Haba. Haba. Me, I don't talk my own. Buy your nanga. He's a what's it called? He too. He don't. He don't talk his own too. And I think this is a battle of make we talk our own. All right, and this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.